All right, uh, this is a variation questions for uh, modern math paper one. And yeah, because one of the students actually sent this question to me, so I decided to make a short video for him. So let's have a look on this question. So the table will show the values of variable x and variable y. So we basically have x and y over here. And then the relation between the x and y is, and then you have a, b, c, d for you to choose, and then one of it will be the answer for this question. So, okay, so in order to like fast, like the faster way to actually like, okay, find which one is, is the nearest answer, I mean, normally for objective question or multiple choice question, we will actually cancel out the question which is not possible. So, first thing is I will find the values of Actually, I find out the values of x is increasing. You can see 2, 4, 6, 8. But at the same time, the value of y is decreasing. If, if uh, x is increasing, y is decreasing, this one is not possible. It's, di it's a direct variation. I, I, I mean, yeah. So this one should be inversary. So it's not possible like directly proportional. So what I'm trying to say is when I say uh, in variation, basically, you have two type of variation. Uh, one type is the directly, the other type is the inversary. So, inversary. So for di directly, if the x if the x is increased, the y will increase. If the x is decreased, the y will decrease. And for inversary, they will opposite. If x is increased then the y actually will decrease. If x x is decreased, then the y actually will increase. Right, so, okay, because of what, if you want to uh, like f further understand it, actually you can understand from the diagram also. Okay, if the diagram, the diagram basically is, it, it, it can be a straight line. It can be a straight line. So you can see the x value increase, the y will increase. Or it can be a curve. You can see, at the same time, you can see when x value increase, y value will increase also. But if for inversary, for inversary, the curve will be slightly different. The inversary, the curve is something like this. You can see when y is increased, uh, the x is increased, the y is decreasing. Okay, but I don't think you need to understand until the curve curve way so yeah I just do not want to go too far so let me just erase the cur curve thing first okay when I say directly what do I mean Di directly actually means the k will equals to okay I, I mean y y is very uh, very directly to the x y is very directly to the x square y is very directly to the square root x. All this is considered is directly, okay? And then when I say inversary, it must have one over y uh, varies inversary to x, y varies inversary to x square, or y varies inversary to square root x. So all, all this over here basically is the uh, inversary. So, yeah, so I hope you basically you can understand what's the meaning of directly and inversary. So in this case, because uh, x is increasing, y is decreasing, so I know these two is not possible. So I will try whether the answer is C or D. Okay, if, if of course it, in the exam, if you're not sure, you can try it out, uh, like all the A, B, C, D, but it will take you some time. Okay, so how, how to try it out over here is like this. You just substitute the value into it and see which one can give you a constant k value for example if i try out the c so this is this is the variation right when i change to equal sign i had to add the k on the top all right this is the uh, basic knowledge about it, variation so i will try first combination first when x equals to 2 2 my oops when x equals 2 y equals to 12 all right so k is 24 and then I try the second combination. Okay, when y is 6, x is 4, k is 24. Because k is a constant value, so that means k need to be always stay the same value. So, so you can understand the x and y I will substitute into this position. So 3 multiply 4 is 24, and then 8 multiply 3 is 24. So I know the answer is C. 
Alright, right. So let's have a look on D because I want you. I want to give a. I, I mean, a wrong, uh, the wrong example. Not to say wrong example. I I trying to give you more idea. What if the constant is not the same? So this one, if I y, I change it to the equal sign. The k actually will on the top, so it'll be square root x. Okay, if I sub, uh, if I sub the t y and x into it, so basically I will get square root two. So k basically is twelve square root two, and then I sub the second one, six and four. Six equals to k over square root four. Square root four is two, so k is twelve. So you can find out the k value is not the constant. If the k value is not the same, then this one is wrong. So at the same thing, at the same time, you basically you can try A and B. Okay, so. Yeah, just do it quickly because I just hope you fully understand about variation because variation for me is a bo bonus mark question for all the modern math students. Okay, so for A, so if I want to add a K, K is always beside the X. Alright, this is how you write in the equal sign. When Y is 12, X is 2, your K is 6. Then I try the second combination, 6 and 4. Okay, 6 equals to K over 4. Then you can find out K is basically 6 over 4. Then k is 3 over 2. Okay, if you've tried the first combination and the second combination, the k is not the same, then you know it's wrong already. Alright, this is how we solve this kind of variation question. Alright, I hope this short video can help, help you understand better about variation. Anyways, thanks for watching.